Welcome back to my shop. Uh, today I'm going to talk some about uh, tapers. And uh, as you saw in the Abena Mill Machine video, uh, I have this Abena with a 40 taper. Uh, but these tapers had me a bit confused when I started out machining. So uh, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about uh, the different kinds of tapers. In this video I'll be showing uh, a couple of drawings of tapers and uh, I've taken these from uh, this book. This is the Engineer's Black Book. Uh, here's a Swedish uh, translation obviously but it's available in English as well and uh, it's a really nice book to have lying around in your shop. It even have laminated pages so you can just uh, wipe off oil and grease with the wet cloth. You're probably all familiar with the Morse tapers used for drilling and as you can see uh, the, uh, the 40 taper has a different angle than the Morse taper. So while the Morse taper uh, allows for the torque to be transferred through the actual taper, this 40 taper does not. So you have to use some kind of dogs to transfer the torque from the machine uh, to the mill. Uh, and these are some notches that will match up with some dogs uh, on the mill. And I'm gonna put this mill into the spindle now. So this is the uh, ISO 40 taper. And there's a couple of other uh, 40 tapers available. Uh, the differences are uh, the notches here and how it looks up here. The top end here is where the drawbar attaches and uh, I'm going to undo the drawbar from my abena to show you what that looks like. As you can see here, the drawbar is nothing complicated. Uh, you could easily machine a new one with a different thread or a different length if you like. This next taper I'm going to show you is the BT40 taper. And uh, this doesn't have the extension like the ISO 40 taper, but it has the M16 threads down here in the hole. So for CNC machining you put a pull stud in here, like a mushroom shaped kind of thing. Uh, this has the two notches here, just like the ISO taper. And what happens when I put this into my machine here, you can see the taper itself fits, the drive dog fits, but the drawbar won't reach into the threads. So I can obviously not use this as is, but if I make a longer uh, drawbar, uh, using this wouldn't be a problem at all. This next taper I'm going to show you causes some more problems. This, I guess, is the Dean 69871 taper. And this shares a feature with the ANSI or CAT taper uh, that is a bit annoying when you try to use it on manual machines. And that is, the two notches here are different. One goes to the full depth, but the other one doesn't reach the full depth in here. So. What happens when you try to put them into the taper is that one of the drive dogs hit the edge here, so you can't just fit it in there. I tilted the head out to give you a view of the drive dogs here. And as you can see, these are held in place with screws. So if you want to use the 69871 tapers or the ANSI CAT tapers uh, for this machine, you could just uh, machine another drive dog that is shorter and switch out one of them and you'll be all set. As I've shown you, you can easily adapt your machine to the different kinds of 40 tapers, but doing so all the time is kind of annoying and takes a lot of time. So I've decided to stick with the uh, ISO 40 taper and try not to use the other ones. In order to use end mills with your uh, 40 taper system, you'll need one of those collet systems. And this is an ER32 system. It has collets here up to 20 millimeters. This is a bit small actually for my machine. I'd rather have an ER40 or an ER50 system. Uh, what you can also use is an OZ collet system and they're practically 
serve the same purpose. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use this. First, here's an end mill, and first I choose uh, the appropriate uh, ER collet. Then I unscrew the nut here for the ER system, put the collet into here. Then place this onto here. The end mill goes in here. Then I put this into this tool holder that I made from scrap. And as you can see, those two dogs here, they have different lengths. So this will actually fit to uh, the cat style taper here. And I put this into here and I just tighten the nut properly. And then I'm all set to put this into the spindle and start milling. There is another kind of 40 tapers that I use and that's for my decal machine. And these share the same taper, but they have an external thread up here. And this is an S20 by 2 thread. And the decal drawbar looks like this and it screws on like this. Here you can see the decal sawtooth thread. And as you can see, uh, one inch of the thread is flat like this, and the other one is at an angle, like this. I twisted the Dickel milling head around so you can see what it looks like. And this one doesn't have any drive dogs like uh, the Abena does. This has just two notches in here. So to use this, you need a ring, like this one. I don't know what it's called in English, but the Germans call it the Mitnehmer Ring. And you put this into here, and then you get the notches here, and these are a bit narrow, but these fit into the original decal accessories, such as this one. So I'm going to put this one in here and just tighten the drawbar. I bought some other accessories, sold as decal, but they turned out to be like this one. Uh, this is just uh, Dean 69871 or a cat taper uh, with a decal thread stud uh, screwed into it. Uh, this obviously has this type of notches down here, but these work well with the decal machine. It's just that I have to use another one of these rings. You see, this is another type that I got off eBay. As you can see, this ring fits on here perfectly, and I just put it into the taper twist the drawbar and it fits into the machine like so and no problem. And this accessory, as you might already have figured out, this is the ER32 collet adapter that makes it possible to use my ER32 collet set on the decal machine for end mills and stuff. There's also a little to be said about uh, Morse tapers, and I'm sure you've all used them for drilling. These are the Morse tapers 1, 2, 3, and 4. And of course, when you want to use them, you just put them into the, your Morse tapered hole, and you just tap them in, and when you want to get them out of there, you use something like a wedge, and you just push it in and knock them out. And these Morse tapers are, they're okay for drilling, but for milling, they're not really good because the mill might walk out of the taper. But there's a different kind of Morse taper, and they look like this. These do not have the tongue here. They just have a hole with a thread in it. So you use them like this. You have your Morse taper adapter, and you put them in, of course. But then you take a screw and screw it into them. And then the screw holds it. Uh, into the taper and keeps it from walking out. I'm gonna put this Morse taper mill back into uh, the adapter and I put it like so into this decal tool holder that I made uh, and I just push it in then I turn it around and put the screw in here tighten it And there, ready to put in my decal and start milling again. I hope you enjoyed this short video about tapers, and I had a lot of fun making it, 
and see you later.